Right. So I've chopped all the apples. And as you can see, the juice is just running out of the apples there. Sugar and the juices. That's just right. So now, we've got a pound of flour and our two teaspoons of baking powder. We've got to dip it in the flour. Give that a bit of a mix. Now I've got all that flour in the centre. Make it that well there. Now this is your shredded suet. Now you don't want that over mixed, so just a little bit of a mix. So it gets all mixed together. You want the suet to stay as whole as possible. Pop your all three eggs in. And that's it. I need some milk. So like I said, just start putting, say, even half a pint in first is fine. Just break everything up because it all will mix together because there's so much mixing when you do this. Yeah, it does all combine evenly. And just keep mixing and mixing. And then you feel you need some more milk and then you just put some more milk in there you've got all your juices all mixing in together with the milk and the apples and this recipe goes back to goodness knows war days and it's not many ingredients to make this so that's why it's easy. And if you've got a big family, it's ideal. And you can freeze it. So you can pop it in the freezer when it's cooled down. And escape either. Go with them in the oven at 130 degrees. That's electric. And two hours. Two hours it goes in for. Make sure all the flour is combined. If it's not, then you need more milk. Just like here. And you don't want it too wet. Just want it sticky and sloppy. That's the only deal mixture. I mean, it doesn't look very nice. If you weren't feeling very well, I wouldn't make this. And just a little bit more milk, and that should do it. So the name is Guernsey French. Um, it's not uh, French as such, but it's Guernsey French. We're part of one of the Channel Islands. Not a lot of people know Guernsey or where they're at, but in a small island, most people know Jersey. And we're Guernsey just and now on the boat. There we go. So that's what you should end up with. Sloppy. Like that. Not runny, just sloppy and gooey. And that is perfect. So what we do now, pop it all in, don't waste it. 
such a good choice. Right, the rest of the sugar that you've got, this is where it goes. On top, because it makes it nice and crispy on the top. But I have used most of the sugar, I've just got a little bit left over. Then that goes in the oven, 130 for two hours. So I'll show you the end results soon. Mm -hmm.